G'day folks, Ben from Snowy's here today with the Companion Aero Heat Lithium Tent Heater. This is a rechargeable ducted gas heater that you can safely use to take the chill out of the air inside your tent, caravan or camper. Now this is the Aero Heat Tent Heater as it comes out of the box. So uh, the unit itself or everything here weighs about eight kilos altogether. This is everything that's included in the box. This guy measures about 44 centimeters uh, by about 38 centimeters in height and about 16 centimeters in width this way. And then it has this duct here, which measures about 27 centimeters and it stretches out to about 105 centimeters. So you've got this long duct that comes out of the end of the heater and that just attaches on the end here. There's just little slots here that line up with the slots here. You slide it over the top of this heat. This is where the air is gonna come out um, of the, the unit. Line it up over that heating element and just lock it into place there. So that's how the unit looks when it is ready to use. We haven't attached the gas bottle yet. We'll do that shortly. Before we go into that though, you do get a two meter DC power cord here. So you can charge it from a 12 volt power source. And you also get your user's manual, covers all your safety directions, how to use it and everything you need to know. Now the unit is made of a combination of a, a plastic. So this is all a durable plastic, feels nice and tough on the outside here. And these um, sides, the gray bits here are a metal and the duct itself is a, is a metal housing here. And then this is sort of a combination of, of um, what I'm assuming is a metal sort of coil through here and plastic. Now this isn't an insulated duct, it's just a plastic duct. So it hasn't got um, a thick insulation layer to it. A bit of a tour of the unit uh, and how it looks on the outside. Starting this side, we've got the inlet here. So this is where it sucks the air in and then it comes back out through the element on the top here. On the back here, not much to see. Metal panel there, vents here, which uh, obviously are needed for ventilation of the, the burner inside. Flicking over to the other side, same thing here. You do have a little window here though, so you can see the pilot light inside there so that you know it's burning. And then on the back here, this is where all the business happens. We'll go into the user manual shortly, but just down at the bottom here, you've got a DC 12 volt input here where your 12 volt plug will attach. Now it will charge uh, from empty to full in about four to five hours. You can get a 240 volt adapter as an accessory for it as well. So you grab that one there and you'll be able to plug it into this via 240 volts if you don't have a 12 volt source, but that is an optional accessory. Now you do also need on top of the lithium um, battery because the, the battery will operate the fan inside, but you need gas as well. So it operates off these 468 gram propane gas cylinders. This is what obviously burns and creates the heat. Now this attaches in up underneath here. You've got a regulator built into the unit up here. This screws in. Now these are available separately. They're not included with the unit. You have to buy these separately. That screws into place up there. So just keep screwing it till you feel it sort of bite and you just want to do it firmly. You don't want to over tight that. You can just hear a little hiss, just tighten it so it's firm. Now for runtime for the unit, the integrated lithium ion battery will give you up to four hours of runtime. Whereas a gas cylinder here, one of these guys will give you up to about 10 hours. So you'll need to charge this two and a bit times before your gas runs out and you need to replace that. There are also safety features incorporated into the unit. Is It is fused, so this 12 volt, um, uh, cable has got a, a fuse inside here, has a tilt switch and a CO2 cutout feature. And there is also a, um, a cutout switch in here. So this actually has to be attached in order for it to work. So if you take that off, the unit's gonna cut off. So you have to leave that attached. And it also has an over temperature uh, cutout sensor. So um, it, the outlet will reach about 60 degrees plus or minus two degrees. It doesn't quite feel that hot when you touch it. We'll show you that shortly, um, but it will cut out if it reaches over 60 degrees. Another thing to note is that the unit will is designed to operate in temperatures below 15 degrees. So if the ambient temperature is 15 degrees and above, the unit won't operate, it'll cut out. So it's only designed for those really cold nights. And one other thing worth mentioning is that while you can have this remote from the tent, this sits outside the tent, you still need to have it protected from wind and rain for it to operate properly. So you can't just leave it out on a rainy night. So we'll get the unit started, but before we do it, I'll mention a, a few things. This has got a, a feature in it. When you turn it off, it runs for 90 seconds or thereabouts obviously to let it cool down before you can turn it back on again. That seems to apply regardless of whether you've simply just turned the control panel on or you've actually run the fan or the heater. If I turn this on right now and then off again, I'm gonna have to wait 90 seconds before I can turn it on again. So my recommendation is make sure that you've got your ducts and everything in place before you turn it on because if you accidentally knock this duct off, you're gonna get an error code 
that's going to turn the unit off and you're going to have to wait 90 seconds every time you go to turn it on. So I put this in place, I'll point it this way so that we can uh, try and show you how the air, um, sort of the strength of the air coming out there. To turn it on though, power button on the bottom left here, press that once, the screen lights up and the battery indicator on the top right there shows that we're at full charge. Bit of a tour around the control panel here. This is going to show us our fan speed, so three settings there. Underneath that, some um, uh, numbers which can give us the error codes. If there's an error code that the machine cuts out or something's going wrong, gives us an error code and the user manual tells us all about those. Bluetooth Connect, there's an app you can use. I'll show you that shortly. Little red flame there will be red when it's lit up to show that it's lit inside and it's heating. And then this is shows that the fan's running. This will spin around when we turn it on. So to get the unit started now, we come to the fan button on the right hand side here. We press that once and the fan will kick off. This is showing us that it's on the second setting. The fan is spinning around there. To change the fan speed, we use the plus and the minus here. So minus slows it down, plus speeds it up. And I'll try and show you how strong that fan is shortly. I'll leave it on the low setting for now. To then get it heating, we press the fan button here again. We'll hear the piezo igniter tick inside and this little red light should light up. So, hear a tick, I can hear the flame light and the lighter or the little um, heat, heater light there shows up. So to try and demonstrate to you sort of the strength of the air coming out, I've got a very technical paper towel here just with some strips cut into it to show you how strong the, the air might be. So it's, a, it's not a strong amount of air. This really is designed just to take the chill out of the air. It's not gonna pump the tent chock-a-block full of air. So that's the lowest fan setting there. If I turn the fan up with the plus button here, now what's gonna happen as I turn the fan up is the temperature is gonna reduce slightly because there's air moving faster through the unit but that's now a slightly stronger puff of air there. Now the air coming out of here, it feels nice and warm. I feel like I'd be able to warm my fingers up next to that. It's not hot by any means. I can put my finger right up in here without it burning. It's certainly not hot, it's warm. So the unit really is designed to just take the hot or the chill out of the air rather than warm a large space. If you're sitting right in front of that inside your tent, you'd stay warm. It's not gonna keep your tent really warm for an entire night, it's just gonna take the chill out of the air. Now the next thing I wanna show you is how you can operate this via the Bluetooth app. Now, there is a Bluetooth app called Aero, Aero Heat, it's called. So if we open that up, so as soon as it's open, it's now automatically paired with the device here and we can, we've got some controls from the app here with the unit. So it shows our battery life at the top there, or how much battery's left. We can turn the fan on and off here. So if I press this, ask if I'm ready to stop heating, I can turn it off from there. I can also turn the fan on and off. I can't do it while the heat's on. You've got to have the fan on um, when it's heating. And I can also control the fan speed. So this here, I can move halfway through. The unit will then <coughs> drop down to low fan speed there. I turn it back up, we're halfway through. So there's three different colors there. We've got red, purple is halfway, and blue is the lowest setting. So. A few controls via the Bluetooth app there. So you can actually turn the unit off from the app here as well. So if you're sitting inside your tent, you can turn it off. You can't turn it on, you need to come back to the actual control panel here to turn it on. So I'll show you how some of the functions work. If I press the red button there, the heat on button, are you ready to stop heating? I press OK and the little lighter, little um, flame will go out there. Now I can still control the fan speed. If I click fan on there, it's just gonna run fan and I can control the fan speed without the heat there now. Uh, and if I want to turn the heater back on again, I click heat on, are you ready to start heating? I click OK, the unit's gonna light up again, piezo started and it's lit up again. So control from inside the tent, so you don't need to get in and out of the tent if you want to control this. Then at the end of the night, if I want to turn it off, I click turn off, are you ready to shut down? I click OK. So that will now go through its 90 second cooldown phase and then it'll shut down completely. Um, and then at which stage you'll be able to turn it back on again. So that is the Companion Aero Heat Lithium Iron Tent Heater. Important to note, it is really designed just to take the chill out of the air. It's not gonna heat a space, but it does allow you to safely have a gas heater for use in a tent, because you can't use actual gas heaters in a tent, but this unit sits outside the tent. You've got this little duct that you can put in the door or some tents now come in with little vents that you can put this in, so you're blowing warm air inside the tent. So these are a great portable area heater, or it's gonna take the chill out of the air, as I mentioned. You can put it in a bag, there's a, a carry bag here that's suitable for the air heat and the aqua heat. The aqua heat's another one of companions units, which is a, a hot water shower. 
based on the same chassis as this works really well too. But you can check these out online at snowies.com.au where you find them at the lowest prices every day. But if you've got any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for all of our latest information. We'll check out some other cool companion products like these ones down here. Oh.